Hi, my name is Danilo Ardagna and I will introduce you to the course Enable AI at the Edge by the iSprint Consortium. I'm Associate Professor at Polytechnic of Milano. So that's the content of our course. We'll start from a basic introduction to cloud computing and we'll illustrate the, the reason why uh, currently company and people are moving uh, their computation into an edge computing setting. Uh, then we will uh, introduce the core characteristic of uh, uh, the implementation of AI application at the edge and we'll provide an introduction to the general content of this course. So let's start from uh, the very uh, beginning and let's provide a definition of cloud computing. Nowadays, cloud computing is really widespread and uh, it is built by a set of resources uh, that, that nowadays span from computation, storage, and networking that have two core characteristics. The first point is these uh, resources can be accessed through the internet um, via web service calls uh, in a way that uh, uh, resources are located on demand uh, in few minutes. Uh, on the other side, uh, the core innovation of uh, cloud computing is the business model. These resources uh, are available on a pay per use basis. So we just pay for the resources we actually use. Uh, if you look at the technology, the technology in uh, early 2010 was virtualization. Uh, nowadays the core technology is a mix of virtualization and containerization. And that's the key innovation. Resources uh, can be accessed uh, uh, through uh, a pay-per-use model. So we just pay only for the resources we need. Uh, so let's take a look at what happened before uh, cloud computing. So uh, let's bring it to our uh, x-axis uh, uh, the time and let's assume that uh, we are uh, developing a new service that we expect to be popular. So we expect that the, the load for this new application will increase. Uh, if we are uh, considering a solution which is based on premises, uh, um, actually what we have to do is we have usually uh, to allocate the IT capacity um, according to a two, three month horizon. And so what we have to do is really we have to allocate, we have to buy resources, we have to install our server, we have to install our application before of the time we can use this application. And so that's the way we should allocate, given the prediction, that's the way we should uh, allocate the resources uh, which correspond to some fixed cost of our IT uh, infrastructure. And then actually, uh, let's start, let's assume that really we go with our system in production and that's the actual load that uh, our application uh, receive while running. Uh, so, which are the characteristics of this solution? The, the, the key characteristics are that uh, in the very beginning we are wa wasting uh, uh, IT capacities uh, because the resources we need are really are always higher than whatever is needed by our application. But then what happened here is that we have a bad luck and what happened is that the resources we allocated are not enough. So here in these scenarios what happened is that our application is providing very bad response time to to our application, to our end users, uh, or on the other side, we're really rejecting some load. So that's when we get usually 404 error code by accessing an internal service. And then at some point, uh, what happens is that you see here, uh, there is a, a huge waste of capacity again because the load uh, decreases. Indeed, I mean, uh, for example, during the holidays, probably our customers are not really uh, browsing our e-commerce sites and uh, uh, making payment, for example. So that's what happened in the solution uh, if we rely on uh, cloud, uh, cloud providers. So here we are reporting the same uh, prediction for our load and since actually we can allocate our uh, resources just in few minutes, what happened is uh, in, uh, uh, if we have a few minutes horizon, which is the time we need to start some Cloud VM, for example, uh, in our cloud provider of choice, then what happens is with uh, the prediction, for sure, we are much more accurate than whatever we can do with the two, three months in advance. So what happens is that the resources really can follow strictly uh, the resources, uh, I mean, the, the load that we really need. And then what happens if we compare to the previous scenario? 
uh, we have an initial reduction of investment because really we don't need to over allocate uh, the servers uh, in our infrastructure for uh, the, the first three, six months. Uh, then here, so we are really reducing the oversupply in our infrastructure. Here, we don't experience any undersupply. So actually here, we are not really providing high response time or rejecting the load. And here, since actually we can not only add more resources when we need on a cloud provider, but we, but we can only also shrink the IT capacity that is serving our application. Here, we are also reducing, if we foresee a reduction, if we experience a reduction of, of, of the incoming load, then we can also reduce the allocated capacity and the related costs. So what is the story that a cloud provider usually tell to their customer? Look, uh, if you go to the cloud, the cloud is a solution to reduce your costs and to improve the performance of your application. Uh, actually, if we look uh, recently at the cloud market, uh, there is really a, a growth. Uh, cloud computing now is, is reality. Uh, the recent uh, uh, compound annual growth rate is about 18-20% and uh, consider that the IT market in the, in the last five years uh, was 4% on average just to have a, a term of comparison. Um, and then uh, which are the reasons why? Actually, uh, nowadays companies are even uh, rely on a multi-cloud strategy so they are not just uh, building uh, um, deploying their application on a single cloud, but they are, they are using multi-cloud. So the reason why there are, are many, uh, the core one is uh, related to the fact that uh, they prefer to use uh, specialized resources. So for example, if we stay in the AI context, because it's, uh, it's the core of this course, uh, there are some cloud provider that uh, really are, uh, provide advanced solution for example, video and image processing, some other cloud provider are very good for natural language processing and some other, for example, these are popular application today. They are uh, uh, specialized for developing chatbots. So a company actually rely on these multi-cloud solutions to have to get the best from, from the technology and to uh, develop really advanced application. Uh, another important reason of the growth of the cloud is related to the uh, hybrid cloud uh, implementations. So uh, as you expect, uh, in, in our course, we will have, uh, um, we will devote one part to the security and privacy of the data. Uh, of course, if I'm a company, I'm not happy to put the database of my customer, for example, in, in some time that's also prescribed by the law and by the rules uh, in our, I mean, for example, in Europe, there are some limitations for that. Uh, so we cannot really put our database into a cloud provider. Uh, and so what we do is we, for example, the, the part of our application that is not sensitive is really, uh, for, so for example, the web application or uh, the application servers, they can really uh, be deployed and run in, into a cloud provider. Another solution is uh, the so-called uh, uh, cloud burst. Uh, so imagine that uh, I prefer to have the control of my IT infrastructure. And so I really size my, to save cost, I size my uh, application infrastructure, uh, my core infrastructure to serve uh, the average load that we predict, that we expect during, during a year, for example. And then so we, we really install our application on premises. But then what happened is that whenever we experience a, a peak in load, we offload some computation to the cloud. So in this way, we really have a mixed solution where, for example, the database still stays in on premises. We have some web and application servers that are on premises, but a part of the load on the web server and the application server is uh, is on the cloud. Um, finally, uh, another reason is really uh, the core of this course. Nowadays, uh, um, also given the growth of some other technology like uh, Internet of Things, uh, companies are building edge solution. Uh, so that's a really another reason why we still, I mean, in edge solution, the backend is served by the cloud. And that's the reason why uh, Cloud computing nowadays is growing. 